Good day, good day, royal fans, and welcome back to the channel. Let's dive into today's headline. Prince Harry's response to reports that he's ruining Princess Diana's legacy. Prince Harry was just 12 years old when his mother, Princess Diana, tragically died in a car accident on August 31st, 1997. After Harry and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, stepped down from their roles as senior members of the royal family, rumours have swirled that Harry has not been supportive of William. In 1995, Diana agreed to a BBC One Panorama interview with BBC journalist Martin Bashir. The interview itself was controversial as Diana discussed her eating disorder, extramarital affairs and Prince Charles' relationship with Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Diana's brother Earl Spencer alleged that Bashir used forged bank statements to convince Diana to do the interview. BBC has since launched an independent investigation into the interview. On November 19th, Kensington Palace said in a statement that Prince William tentatively welcomed the investigation. While William issued a statement, Harry did not. This resulted in newspapers citing Harry for not supporting his brother and therefore not supporting Diana's legacy. A source close to Harry spoke to Entertainment Tonight and assured the public that the Duke of Sussex is aware of the investigation. Harry is getting regular updates and is aware of everything that is happening, the source told ET. You do not need a public statement to imagine how he is feeling privately. People know how much his mother means to him. He has bravely spoken out in the past about loss and grief. The source added that the rumours seemed like an attempt to convince the public there were problems between William and Harry. Harry has long been open that his mother's ultimate death affected him. In a 2017 interview with Dave Henson on Forces TV, he shared the two hours in Afghanistan as an Apache pilot forced him to confront how he felt. Harry also admitted that he experienced panic attacks when he attended public engagements. After encouragement from William, Harry sought out support for his mental health and began consoling. So there you have it guys, today's article in a bombshell. Harry's not the bad guy, or is he? Let me know what you think, like, comment and subscribe. See you tomorrow and goodbye for now.